Hello, up, people. Welcome back to another episode of All the Mods Expert. Hope everybody's doing all right. I'm doing pretty good. And today, well, we're bringing things back from the dead. Yes, it is what we're doing. It will ensue that some things will probably not go right. Things will definitely not go wrong. And I've already prepared a couple of things, like this be in my inventory. I need an Hermitic, so you need a Secluded, so you need a Noster, like all these kind of things. But the reason I wanted this bee is to make the Phantasmal. So I prepared this one, then we'll do the Phantasmal, and I'm going to show you what it does. It's pretty great. I'm just saying, on a scale of 1 to 10, it's about 75. So, pretty much the most powerful bee of them all. Yes. <laughs> Without a doubt. So, alright. So what can we do with this bee? Well, we can do certain things that are a little bit uh, different. But, uh, what we're going to do here, I needed something in my inventory, and I completely forgot what it was. Uh, first of all, we're going to sleep the night off, because I need to go to my bee area, and kind of need it that we don't go there and die. So, okay. So we've got this, and then we don't need anything from here. Yeah, I don't think I need anything from here. So let's just go to bees. All right. So over here, well, we've just got our things and stuff. And uh, if you didn't know to make this bee, you, well, they, they used the N, so you need a dragon egg. So I have to place it here and like, Kind of, you know, my power system over there uses the dragon egg, so kind of can't wait to have another one. All right, so over here we need uh, one of those. Ender. So I'm gonna use this one. I I've got, I've got what I need to make another one if I wanted. But yeah, we need this phantasmal bee. This is, this is the best bee. Like, the, if, if there was. Like certain level of bees, this, this one is the best. Uh, so pretty much what we want to put on it is this. Yeah. So let's hope it doesn't like die. That would be really bad. Uh, we're going to remove this, put that one there, and place this one. So of course, like there's a bunch of things I kind of need to do uh, for this thing to work really well, but it's going to be needed. Like, there's nothing better than doing this bee for pretty much every reason possible. I'm going to show you what you can do with it. So, we've got the bee now. So, if uh, I go home and I grab a, something like an emerald block, like so. And we're going to need, uh, let's grab, what do we grab? Eh. Let's grab like a uh, flesh. That'd be flesh. Right? We can go back to bees. We're going to remove this thing here. Put that one there. Put this thing in here. And as you can see, it says it's working. Okay? So uh, let's remove the lifespan. We're going to drop this. Come on. Maybe you can do it. Well, it's not wanting to do it. Oh, wait, maybe. Come on. It should work. Hmm. Um, that's weird. It's supposed to res mobs. That's what it's supposed to do. Oh, don't tell me I removed. No, this, this is there. Resurrection. Come on. Res things. Does need to be... I, I never remember how far away it needs to be. Or how, like, in height. Maybe it doesn't do it from this. Hmm. I think I'm gonna have to go check. 
because this is kind of important. This thing is supposed to be able to res mobs. Let's let's check princess. Yeah, this is the phantasmal bee, and it should work. For some reason, not resing anything. Hmm. Let me figure this out, guys. I'll be back. All right, guys. So I've tested it with a bunch of items, and it doesn't seem to work with everything. Uh, let me just remove this. I didn't know I had one in my uh, <laughs> over there. And we'll put that there. So we have a little bit less, well, more space. But if I go to the end, let me show you this. So I tried to have with the head, I tried with the, with everything else. It didn't work, but there you go. I grabbed one of these, placed it there, and boom, Enderman. So it does work. It just... Kind of does not work with everything because you can't like respawn the wither skeleton with this. I don't think there's a way for me to do that. Um, but yeah, so we kind of need to set up something to res the dragon. And we're going to do this over here. So we got to be careful when we do this because we don't want the dragon to be able to destroy our our uh, apiary because if he flies into it he's going to destroy the apiary and we're going to lose the bee so that's something we don't want to do uh so of course i'm going to do stuff like this and i'm doing something that i've already done guys i've done this in infinity skyblock if you didn't know so yeah just you know a couple of things that we're i'm going to do here so i'm going to do two uh here there's going to be uh, of course uh, this thing and uh, then we're going to go two, and then a little bit more. Just so we protect it from, like, fireballs that the dragon throws as well. So that's kind of the way we're going to go. All right, so let's start placing these. So that's, So this is so nothing spawns. Uh, but it shouldn't spawn because, like, we're we're going to place blocks close above, but not exactly on top. That's the only thing. Uh, sorry, let's grab. Where is it? It's about somewhere. I don't know where it was. Hey, right. I could do this, and I'll find it. There we go. All right, right here. So let's get this, get this one. Oh wait, I need to have this under. So I guess what I will do, break this one, place that there. Thing we're gonna break while standing because or else it's just gonna take forever. Okay. I'm gonna take this thing here. All right. Uh we're gonna do this and it can self-feed itself that's what we want and i'm gonna go back home we are going to grab a trash can of course i don't have a chest of course i don't have any wood there we go grab a trash can do i have filters for this i do not have a filter for this Grab a filter, go back there. Come on. What's happening? Getting stuck somewhere? All right. Uh, we will put this on top in case. And we will. There's nothing in there. Perfect. We'll put that there. We'll put the arrow block right under. And this thing here will simply have this. So nothing else will go in there. Shouldn't. Yeah, I can't place anything. But I can place this one. So now, when I place this thing there, it will work. But we need 
go one higher than that. I went too low. We pretty much need to go there. This will allow the dragon to not destroy thing under. Normally. As far as I can tell, it worked. Okay. Boom. The only difference that might be an issue is I don't know if I'm going to get another egg. Maybe I should just res the dragon normally. Well, let's try to do that. We're going to do the dragon normally. And then we're going to do it like spawning. Spawning with the, the stuff. So I'm going to keep this in my inventory just in case. Uh, we need my arrows. There they are. All right. Uh, we've got the bow here. Make sure. Perfect. Can we upgrade? No. Okay. So I'm not sure this is the actually best armor that I can have at the moment. But we're going to do this. So we need N crystals. Or N crystal. Yeah, this thing here. Oh, really? I don't have any gas tears. Eh, that's not a problem. <laughs> need four of those. Four, not five. Okay, so let's go back there and we're gonna res the dragon. I just hope it doesn't destroy things that are inside of it. If it does, let's remove like these two things. Everything else can stay. Eh. Nah. Let's let's do this. Alright, so because I'm not sure exactly what it does, if it's gonna destroy or not. Go. That should respawn the dragon and make like a lot of sound. Mm. I forgot you need to break this first. Let's go break the other one as well while we wait. He's so loud. There we go. That's one. That's two. Three. And... Okay, where is he? <laughs> oh, wait. I didn't break that one. That was good. And there. And there. 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 Oh, he went down. Can't hit him. He's dead. There you go. Drop. He drop one. Nice. Nice. Okay. So, eh, you can go away. Uh, I don't really care about anything, but. What is attacking me? Okay, let's put that there. Like this. Now we get the egg. Now let's remove this. I don't understand what's attacking me over here. Oh, wait. Option, video, all. That's what's attacking me here. All right, so now we've got a heart. All right, let's replace everything here. Uh, so this thing will go there. Uh, no, it goes there. Uh, we're going to have this thing under with the filter in there with insert only. Then we will 
put this thing here with round robin and can go. This will have priority of one just because we can. And we will put the B in there when we are ready. All right, so that's pretty much the way I want to do it. So let's just redo the corners. I don't know if they're needed, to be honest, but we'll do them anyway. There we go. All right, and now we put B in there. Oh, yes, it needs a emerald under. Okay. So now it's working. All right, so let's... Wait, where did I put the heart? Oh, I didn't pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't pick it up. Okay, so there it goes. So now we drop the heart. There we go. Z glitch. Can't shoot him. <laughs> oh, and now we've got sound issue. Can you be mad? Yes, okay. He's just like stuck. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I can't kill him! <laughs> Alright, let's do one thing. We'll, we'll grab the bee back just in case something glitches. And uh, we'll, we'll go home and teleport back to the end. Still stuck there. Can't get the dragon. Um. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure what's happening here, guys. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, let, let me let me try to figure out what's happening. Yeah, this is kind of weird. Well, guys, uh, I've got a bad news. I'm in the test world right now, uh, creative and everything. And, uh, well, I think it's related to the change in 1.9 that they made to the dragon, which has like an AI and everything now. So this doesn't work. But that also means that I'm going to have to reset my end or something of the sort, because of the fact that now I've got two dragons that I can't attack and they don't move. So yeah, that's a bummer. That bee's useless now then. It was like so useful for this. I, I don't know if there's like anything we could do with this thing. Uh, hmm, Let's see bone. Drop a necrotic bone, does it like res? It does not. Uh, a normal bone, it does not. <laughs> so, yeah, pretty much this thing uh, useless. I'm really pissed. That means I'm gonna have to manually spawn them every time instead of just dropping an egg and it's going to spawn without spawning all the crystal. Everything. So that's going to take forever to spawn a dragon every time. Uh, I've got like an idea on how I could, you know, fight the dragon somewhere else. Uh, but I would have to make like some type of tests and things. And to be honest, like, I think you can make like a dragon dimension or something. And I think that might be like a better, a better way. Yeah. Celestial Manipulator. I don't know what this thing does. <laughs> but, yeah, guys. Alright, so let me let me go back, uh, restart my partition, well, my dimension and everything. And I'll bring you guys back after. Well, you know, guys, I'm kind of disappointed to the fact that we can't use that B. But I guess I'm going to put it there and... I've even looked at the GitHub for the mod and you can't... Do it. Like, it's been an error for a year. Never been fixed. I don't think he's even trying. Uh, but let's do Builder. 
The Dimension Builder, I think we're gonna go for that. So the Builder's Blocks are... Not maybe I had enough. Okay, can I do that? No, we cannot. Like this. We can. That. Do this. Can't, so what is it? It's machine frame. There you go. Now it's gonna craft. There it is. Alright. Let's do this. Now we've got the builder's block. Uh, we'll need to make these. Oh wow, I didn't think about the fact that it was going to need that much. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, capacitor. That's going to take forever to craft. Yep. Let's start. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, it has four schedule. It's not bad. Uh, for everything else, eh, might be not bad. The most thing is like scheduling D using that craft. Hey, it's not that bad. Not that bad. But I need to make uh, three. I also need one of those. Oh, wait, I already had one of those. And we need these. One, two, three, and of course, that one, four. Okay, right, so we got two. Come on, craft faster. Like, what, what is he waiting for? It's crafting this. That's what's waiting. Oh. No, oh, it's crafting the camouflage thingy. I'm pretty sure you think it's that one? Yep. This one takes forever to do. I should like make a bunch of it just in advance because I know it's gonna take a while. <laughs> can we get now? We can make one more. Make one of these? Yes, I can make one of these, but I need to make four more of these. I can make one of these again. Or I could do this, and then we got the builders, and I'll make another one of these after. I think we're going to do that. All right, we've got the dimension builder. That's good. That, that's a good thing. Uh, but we need to make dimensions. <laughs> so, let's go dimension. There we go. All right, so there's the dimension inscriber, of course. Uh, let's do a machine. We'll make 10. That's a lot, but why not? Uh, we'll need the dimension builder, which we have, and dimension editor, which is, in, which is another one. The dimlet workbench, which is going to be useful because we're going to take these things. It's going to be ugly, guys. <laughs> and there we go we got a couple so let's place that in there there we go that's good cool all right so pretty much we need to do this with pretty much all of them Paint. <laughs> cool. All right, so let's see. Do we have our machines? This a one. Those in there, maybe a little bit less. Uh, there we go. Now it's a little bit better. Okay, so this device can be used to extract energy out of the current dimension. No. Lead the workbench. 
We will need an editor. Oh no, we already have the editor. We need dimension inscriber. Where are we missing? A piece of paper. There we go. Right, I think that's good. Let's see conduits. Let's take some of that and power. Do I have one left? I don't have one. But I should have an or polymeter quantum. I should have one more quantum. Let's use that. Unless I can grab like the power from somewhere else. Well, I could grab the power from there, but I don't think this thing is going to like having just that tiny amount of power. Alright, so we're going to put that there, do this, do that. The output all the way, auto output, this thing is going to work. We need to put this into here. Because it's really important. And uh, we're going to need more than that, of course. All right? So let's do Dimlet Inscriber. So pretty much here you place your Dimlet thingy doodler and it's going to give you a dimension. Uh, the Dimlet Workbench, you can create different Dimlet. So if you go Dragon, so you can make an Ender Dragon one, but you're going to need a couple of things to do that. And this is normally what you see in the screen. But I think what I can do is do dimlet and take like what I can. We're going to put them down at the bottom here because I think you can do that. Just leave those in there. And it's going to tell you what you can do and what you can't. Let's rest. I've got way too many. <laughs> and I haven't like opened half of them. Uh, this. So let's do like dragon again. So as you can see, I've got one of them. <laughs> so yeah, it needs uh, like a lot of them you need to open. Some of them you need to craft. I do have a Dimlet Rarity 6, so that's going to be nice because that's one we need. Oh, let's, let's check. We didn't check. Uh, UU. Yes, you can. You can make a UU Matter one, and I actually think I can make a UU Matter, like, right now. Well, when I get the liquid. Why Why is this thing not, not an energy module? Oh, I need a triple one, not a double one. That far. Okay, so let's do Dimlet again. Oh, and I've got one triple. Okay, let's grab this. Now we're gonna go place them in there. Okay. Yeah, like I said, this thing, eh, 50%. Bad. Okay, so this thing here, let's put those. Let's see again, UU. There we go. So now we really just need the liquid. And this is going to be a UU Matter Dimlet, which we can then use to build something out of it. You can do, like, I think, a lake. Lakes. Like this. Then you place your block type at the bottom. Like uh, the feature absorber. Place these blocks in an area and it will gradually absorb the essence of a random feature of this dimension. So, yeah. <laughs> could do this. Uh, sort of this end of the biome. So what I think we should do is grab like a notion biome and then put UU matter in there. Maybe that's going to be expensive to use though. Uh, let's do wool. Right, biome absorber. There we go. Is there, like, one more thing I needed? The dimension editor. So, if you make a mistake, you need to edit your thing. That's what it is. <laughs> okay, but there was other things. 
Uh, not the energy extractor. Let's do dim lit. Okay. So let's do some of those. Of course, paper I don't have. Because it's all being used by uh, our food situation for mana. Alright. So what you can do, and it's normally the, the way you go the first time you make one of these wells. Is this thing done? Yes, it's 100%. Perfect. Uh, so you need to power your thing and... Going to put the dimension builder here and dimension inscriber there because it doesn't need power. This one, like, it needs to be connected pretty much straight, or else it won't have enough power at some point. Let's do that. All right, we're also going to need some teleports thing, like these matter transmitter, matter receiver, and I think another stuff. So let's do this. Oh wow, that's a little bit more expensive than I anticipated. Well, not that. That's like... No? Uh, but these things. Uh, teleportation. I need three. Okay, what's the other? Oh, I need six. Alright, and we need a dialing device. Eight. So now we're gonna break this at the bottom. Okay, break this one as well. I go like that. The dialing device I'm gonna put in the middle. Now we're gonna be able to see the teleports. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come here, place one of those in there, we're gonna store. Now we've got a random. Uh, maybe I should do a random one. Track store. Now this is called random one. And I can put it in here to build it. And in here I will be able to target it. Wow. Okay. Do I have my teleportation thingy? I should. So let's do this. Let's do that. Okay. There go. There we go. Alright. Let's wait for these to finish. Okay. So what you can do is you target here, you target here, and you dial once. I'll dial completely. Uh, here we're trunk loaded, so this is going to continue having power. And normally when we go in there, we shouldn't die or anything. But I've been unlucky sometimes, so let's, I don't know, maybe put things in here. Eh, we'll, we'll try it. We'll, we'll try our luck. <laughs> and we end up in... What kind of world? Oh, yeah. Forgot about that. Oh, what is that? That's reinforced cobble? What is this world? <laughs> um, okay. Can I go up? Is there a surface or something? I'm at 90 something and there's still no surface. Oh, there's a surface. Okay. So the thing that I wanted to see is this thing over here. Oh, now there's snow. Okay, so in here, you have some already pre-done dimlets. So that is always cool to have, because you can use these to make a better dimension. And this is pretty much what I'm going to do in between episodes. Just going around in this dimension, 
to get more of these. But, yeah guys, that is going to be it for today, so I do hope you enjoyed the episode. I know it was a little bit of a letdown with the dragon and everything, but I think we picked it up with the di the dimlet finder and stuff and thing. So, if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to leave a like. If you loved it, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see ya. Kraken. I'm going to go to my logo. Kraken, we'll see ya next time.